In this week's Sunday Spotlight, the hidden world of William Shakespeare. For years, a priceless collection of the Bard's first printed plays has been housed just steps away from Congress, and now these rarest of books are going on a remarkable tour of America. Before the launch, John Carl takes us inside the vault where these treasures have been preserved. Our journey begins through the silence of the Shakespeare reading room, down three stories beneath ground to a bunker just one block from the Capitol and the Supreme Court. <laughs> so I can open this? Through a secret passage kept under lock and key. It's a little like Maxwell Smart. We are deep inside the vault. It runs an entire city block, one of the most fortified bunkers in all of Washington, housing some of the greatest literary treasures in the world and most Americans have no idea that this is here. We're looking at the most prized possessions of the Folger Shakespeare Library, with director Michael Whitmore as our guide, even showing us the deed from Shakespeare's house. He held one of these pieces in his hand. And one of Queen Elizabeth's personal Bibles. Covered in crimson velvet, it has her initials here. But the biggest treasure of them all. So this is the most valuable first edition in the entire world. This is a blockbuster of a book. The first collected edition of William Shakespeare's plays, books dating back to 1623. I mean, I, I can't just like kind of like, you know, pick it up and you, start. You probably shouldn't go like this, yeah, right, right. but you can handle it. It's made out of uh, rag paper. That means people took clothing, they pulped it up, they made the paper, and this paper is strong. You're touching it. I am touching it. There's never been a writer so popular. Even 400 years after his death, his writing is as alive in the public imagination as ever. From Sesame Street, be or not a bee, to The Simpsons. Hamlet, avenge me! Dad? All of it captured first in these pages. And there's more Walt Whitman's personal copy of Shakespeare's poetry. There's his signature, Walt Whitman. And what is believed to be the most accurate likeness there is of the bard himself. This is what we think he looked like. This is really important. People who knew and worked with him yeah. said, he looked like this. This is the picture that we think really captures the man. And this is the picture you see everywhere. This is his headshot. And now? So we want hundreds of thousands of people to see this book. They're preparing to send this rare and priceless piece of history on the ultimate book tour. The first editions are headed to all 50 states next year to mark the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death, giving Americans a chance to revel in those powerful words that still amaze and inspire. For I never saw true beauty till this night. Whether you last heard them in the classroom an excellent play. or are surrounded by them every day. I am stunned every time I see a first folio because of how powerful and important this book is. This is a book that brought to us some of the most important plays and poetry that have ever been written. You see phrases here and ideas and characters that you think about all the time, and they're here. For this week, Jonathan Carl, ABC News, Washington.